Good morning, everyone. Today, for puppy playtime, we are in my bed because we are going to be playing some puppy bingo. Let me throw the bingo sheet in the comments so that you can grab it and print it off if you would like. I'm going to throw the bingo sheet and the... Um, trivia sheet into the comments. Well done. It's also in the comments of today's post. Activity post. So I just posted one thing. Or the bingo sheet. And then this is the trivia sheet. So... If you would like, you can follow along at home. So, I have my trivia here. So, the one that I posted was one with no answers. So, it'll look like this. So, it has questions but no answers. So, what we're going to do is I am going to go through all of the trivia questions with you. And then, at the end, I will go back and I will go through the answers with you. So, let's get started, and then after we're done with trivia, we will be playing some puppy bingo. Now, I made two different bingo sheets, so you can do whichever one you would like. And I have my bowl of pictures here, and when you see a picture that's on your bingo card, for example... This picture is not on this page, so you wouldn't be able to mark it off. So you're going to need one of these bingo sheets, which I posted in the comments, and you're going to want a pen, pencil, marker, whatever you would like to mark it off with. And then when you get bingo, which is all the way, which is five. Five down, five across this way, five diagonal, whatever you like. And the middle one where Corbin, the picture of Corbin is, is a free space. So you can mark that one off right away. All right. Are you ready for some doggy trivia? All right. First question. What is the best way to approach a dog? So if you see a dog, how would you approach it? Okay, give you some time to think about that and we'll move on to the next answer. So if you have the dog trivia no answers sheet, you can go through and write in the answers as you're going along that you think. According to the American Kennel Club, what is the most popular dog breed? So what is the most popular dog breed, do you think? And I'm going to come back and say the answers later, but we're going to go through the questions right now. Who do you think has better hearing, a human or a dog? Who do you think? Okay. What is the name of the phobia for someone who has a fear of dogs? What do you think it could be? Because of dogs' unique relationship with humans, they are often referred to as man's best. Do you know what it is? What is a dog's most powerful scent? So, is it sense of smell, touch, taste, sight? What do you guys think? Oh, hearing. I forgot hearing. The average lifespan of dogs is around 5 to 8 years, 10 to 13 years, or 15 to 18 years. What do you guys think? What is the average lifespan of a dog? Is a domestic dog a carnivore, omnivore, 
or herbivore? What do you guys think? True or false? Like most mammals, dogs have color vision, which is like red green color blindness in humans. I'm gonna see if I can get Corbin to come over here while you are thinking about that. He's also sitting on my bed, but he's laying on the end. Okay. Which dog breed is known to pull sleds? So think about that one. What dog breed do you think would be able to pull a sled? And Corbin's decided to grace us with his presence. <laughs> Hi, buddy. So Corbin's going to lay here by my side. <laughs> okay. So which dog breed do you think would pull sleds? Do you think it would be... A corgi like Corbin? What do you think? Would you pull a sled, Corby? <laughs> no? What is the smallest breed of dog? So what breed do you think is the smallest breed? Okay. Turn the page. Ooh, this one's a good one. How many Dalmatians were there in the Disney film. So you know there's a Disney film about Dalmatians. How many Dalmatians were there in the movie? What is the most popular dog breed used as guide dogs for the blind? Hmm, I wonder. Are you ready? If you've watched the movie Beethoven, you're gonna be ready for this next one. What dog breed is film star Bo Beethoven? Do you guys know? What dog breed? Hmm, I wonder. We'll find out later when I go back over the answers. Which dog breed can run the fastest? What do you think? Which dog breed do you think is the fastest runner? Corbin, come say hi. Come say hi. See if we can get you to come say hi. Okay. He's being a little doof. He's laying over here. Okay. True or false? A dog wags his tail to show that he is happy. So, do you think a dog wags his tail to show he's happy? True or false? The Queen of England's favorite breed is a pug true or false what do you guys think is that true or is that false true or false the dash hound originates from australia what do we think is that true or is that false and don't be googling either because these are tricky ones. You got to think about them. A dog can have blue eyes. True or false? What do you guys think? Can a dog have blue eyes? Like me? I have blue eyes. Ready for your next one? True or false? Scooby Doo is a Great Dane. So, Great Dane is a type a dog breed. What do you guys think? Is Scooby-Doo a Great Dane? All right. Are you ready for this one? Name a spotty breed of dog. So a breed of dog that has spots. Can you guys name one? Do you have spots, Corbin? Does Corbin have spots, guys? Oh, he's being shy this morning. Hi, buddy. You being shy over here? There, now you can see the Corbin. <laughs> All right. Name a dog breed beginning with a B. So what dog breed can you think of that starts with a B? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, 
my Wizard of Oz fans, if you've ever watched it, will enjoy this next question. The next question is, name the dog in The Wizard of Oz. So can you guys think of the name of the dog in The Wizard of Oz? Was it Corbin? Was Corbin the name of the 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 doggy in the Wizard of Oz? Guess we'll find out. Name a dog breed with very long fur. So what is a dog breed that has really long fur? All right, ready? Name a dog with a curly tail. So what dog has a curly tail? Do you have a curly tail? <laughs> He's a happy boy. All right, We're almost done with our trivia and then we'll go back and do the answer. You just flopped right down, didn't ya? Name a dog with a long nose. So what's the name of a dog with a long nose? Chapter, er, number 27. Name a dog used to herd sheep. What kind of, <laughs> what kind of dog was used to herd sheep? Can you guys think of one? Oh. Corbin's very vocal about that one. Do dogs like to be kissed and hugged? What do you think? Corbin, do you like kisses? Do you like kisses? Yes or no? Do you like them? Do you like the kisses? If you know a dog, is it okay to reach through a car window or a fence to pet it? What do you guys think? Is that an okay thing to do? Yes or no? If a dog is chasing you, should you try to run away? Yes or no? Is that a safe thing to do, to run away from a dog that's chasing you? All right, are you ready for the next one? Is it okay to pet a dog while it is eating? Yes or no? Are there only certain breeds or types of dogs that bite? What do you guys think? Are there only certain ones that bite or do all dogs bite? What are some food items that are unsafe for dogs. What do you guys think? Are there some foods that are unsafe for puppies? Corbin sure, for sure doesn't think so. He likes all kinds of food. All right, and our last trivia question. What is the best age to adopt a puppy? What do you guys think? How old should you adopt a puppy? How old should they be when you adopt it? All right, are you guys ready for the answers? Let me go over to my one that has the answers now. Are you ready to, for the answers, Corbin? You ready to learn? All right, are you guys ready? And please check if you got them right, and then if you, and then score it. And please put your score in the comments, because I would love to know what you guys scored. All right, what? is the best way to approach a dog. So, the best way to approach the dog is to, number one, get the okay from the owner before approaching the dog. Number two, hold out your hand, fingers closed, palm down, and slowly bring it towards the dog. Corbin, come. Let's see if I can show you with Corbin. And then you have to wait for the dog's okay. So if he wants your affection, he will lower his head, perk his ears, or even come closer to you. The dog puts his ears back, flat on his head, or growls or cowers. Don't pet him. 
Corbin does like to be pet on his ears. So when he approaches someone, he will put his ears back a little bit. But you can tell that he's excited to see you because he's a wiggly boy. He wiggles, wiggles, wiggles. And then pat the dog on the top of his head or along his back. Avoid touching his belly, tail, ears, or feet. Unless they show it to you. So if, Cor if, for example, Corbin showed his belly to me, I know that it was okay to pet his belly. All right. Number two. According to the American Kennel Club, what is the most popular dog breed? So it's Labrador Retriever is the most popular dog breed. All right. Number three. What? Who has better hearing, a human or a dog? So do I have better hearing or does Corbin have better hearing? It's a dog. So Corbin has way better hearing than I do. Okay. All right, our next one. What is the name of the phobia for someone who has a fear of dogs? It's sinophobia, so C-Y-N-O, phobia. So that is the fear of dogs. Interesting fact. Because of dogs' unique relationship with humans, they are often referred to as man's best friend, is the answer to that question. What is a dog's most powerful sense? It is smell. A dog's sense of smell is 10,000 times more powerful than a human's. So a dog's nose smells a lot better than a human's nose. The average lifespan of dogs is around 5 to 8 years. 10 to 13 years, or 15 to 18 years? What do you guys think? What did you guys put down? It's 10 to 13. So the, an average lifespan of a dog is 10 to 13 years. There are some dogs who live shorter lifespans and there are other dogs that live longer lifespans. So certain breeds have different lifespans as well. So for example, my puppy Corbin, is a corgi and corgis live about 12 to 15 years usually and then i had a before corbin my family had a labrador retriever and labradors are known to live about 10 to 12 years usually so certain dog breeds especially some of the bigger dog breeds are known to live a little bit less of a a little bit shorter of a lifespan than big dogs. All right, our next question, question eight, is the domestic dog a carnivore, omnivore, or herbivore? What do you guys think? The domestic dog is an omnivore, so that means they eat both meat and veggies and fruits and everything. So they are very similar to a human where we are omnivores, so we eat everything. So meats, fruits, veggies. So Corbin, for example, loves meat and he loves to eat some veggies. Like he loves carrots and blueberries and he loves ice cream. I don't give it to him very often, but he loves it. So yeah, so a lot of dogs Eat, eat a lot of dogs that are domesticated, such as Corbin, love to eat a variety of things, such as we do. All right, true or false? Like most mammals, dogs have color vision, which is like red green color blindness in humans. And that is true. So Corbin only sees the yellow and blue. Fun fact. So dogs only see yellow and blue. And then everything else is kind of 
a shades of gray and it's kind of hard to tell for them. Fun facts. All right, number 10. Which dog breed is known to pull sleds? Do you guys know what dog breed is used to pull sleds? It's husky. So huskies have really thick coats. So they're able to pull sleds and they're big. So they're able to pull sleds. All right, number 11. What is the smallest breed of dog? What do you guys think? There's lots of really small dogs, but there's one specific one that's the smallest dog. It's a Chihuahua. Isn't that interesting? So a Chihuahua is the smallest breed of dog. How many Dalmatians were there in the Disney film? So it's called 101 Dalmatians. So there's 101 Dalmatians in it. What is the most popular dog breed used as guide dogs for the blind? So it's a Labrador Retriever. So Labrador Retrievers are used as guide dogs for the blind. What dog breed is film star Beethoven? Beethoven is a St. Bernard. Right. Question 15. Which dog breed can run the fastest? So the fastest running dog is a greyhound. Number 16. True or false? A dog wags his tail to show that he is happy. True. However, dogs can wave, wag their tail for a bunch of different reasons including when they're feeling aggressive. So you want to watch for a tail that is held high and is moving stiffly to tell when a dog is feeling aggressive, dominant, or angry. But when a dog is happy, their tail will be down and going back and forth and back and forth. Corbin has a little stumpy tail because he's a corgi and a lot of corgis have little stubby tails. So his tail just wiggles back and forth and it's very cute. And other dogs, when they tuck their tail underneath their, underneath their, in between their legs, that means they're really scared. So that means that you should not approach them because when a dog is feeling scared, they might not be feeling like themselves and they might bite or jump if they're not feeling themselves. So just be careful when you're approaching dogs that have those tail signs and watch for those when you're around dogs. True or false? The Queen of England's favorite breed is a pug. Is it a pug? No. It's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi like Corbin. Corbin, come here. So the Queen of England has a lot of Corgis and the Queen of England is actually why Corgis are AKC registered. True or false? The Dash Hound ori originates from Australia. What do you guys think? Is the Dash Hound from Australia? So that fact is false. So Dash Hounds are actually from Germany. Okay, number 19. A dog can have blue eyes. What do you think? Is that true or false? It is true. Dogs can have blue eyes. True or false? Scooby-Doo is a Great Dane. That is true. Scooby-Doo is a Great Dane. All right, are you ready? Name a spotty breed of dog. So name a dog that has spots. A Dalmatian. So a Dalmatian has lots of spots. Name a dog breed beginning with a B. And you might have thought, thought of a bunch of these. 
So there is a beagle, a basset hound, a basinji. I don't know if I said that right, so I apologize if I said that wrong. And a Bichon Frise. So that those are some types of dogs that begin, some breeds of dogs that start with B. All right. Name the dog in the Wizard of Oz. It's Toto. So Toto is the breed of dog from the Wizard of Oz. Number 24, name a dog breed with very long fur. An old, some examples of dogs with really long fur are Old English Sheepdogs, an Afghan Hound, a Yorkshire Terrier, a, or a Shih Tzu. And there's a lot of other ones that have really long hair too, like a Newfoundland or a... I'm trying to think of some other ones, but there's a bunch of other ones that you can say. Name a dog with a curly tail. So some examples of dogs with curly tails are Chow Chows, Pugs, Akitas, and Pomeranians. Name a dog with a long nose. So lots of dogs have long noses, but some especially long breed no, nose breeding bre bred. Oh my gosh, some breeds with especially long noses, there we go, are Greyhounds, Salukis, and a Borza, Borzai Dash Hound. I apologize if I don't say some of these breeds right because they're kind of hard to say. Name a dog used to herd sheep. So a dog that was used to herd sheep is a Border Collie. Number 28. Do dogs like to be kissed and hugged? What do you guys think? Yes or no? It is no. So this can cause some anxiety in some dogs as they don't like to be restrained. So some dogs are, are okay with it, but you have to watch for their signals and make sure that they are okay with it. Number 29, if you know a dog, is it okay to reach through a car window or a fence to pet it? What do you guys think? Is that okay? No. If you are in the, when you stick your hand in a car window or over a fence, you're in their space and this may cause some dogs to become territorial and you should always ask the, per the owner before petting them. So, and if you can't ask the owner, what, if they're in, if you can't ask the owner, it's important to not pet the dog. Number 30. If a dog is chasing you, should you try and run away? The answer? No. So the dog might think you are trying to play. So don't shout or wave your arms either as this could frighten the dog. So just remain calm and talk to the dog using a soft voice. Number 31. Is it okay to pet a dog while it's eating? No. So don't try and take food or toys away from a dog and don't bother a dog while they're eating. Some dogs are really territorial over their food. So you wanna make sure that you and the dog are both being safe. And they might be protecting their food so this could be a reason that they bite you on accident. So we want to be really safe. Number 32. Are there only certain breeds or types of dogs that bite? No. All dogs are capable of biting. Biting. It has more to do with the circumstances, the their behavior, and their training or lack of training. So I know that Corbin, for example, won't bite anyone because he is going to be trained to be a gentle and loving dog. Number 33. What are some food items that are unsafe for dogs? Can you guys think of any food that is unsafe for dogs to eat? So some are grapes, peanut butter, 
but peanut butter that contains xylitol. So most peanut butters are okay for dogs to eat, but if the peanut butter contains a, an ingredient called xylitol, then it is not safe for the dog to eat. Another one is chocolate, candy, coffee, garlic, gum, and avocados. So you want to make sure that you're not feeding your dog any of your candy or you don't want to stay feed your dog any of these things because it could cause their tummy to get upset. And you don't want your dog's tummy to be upset. And our last question, what is the best age to adopt a puppy? The best age to adopt a puppy is at eight weeks old. So I got Corbin when he was about eight weeks old. And that's all our dog trivia for today. Now, if you want to grab one of the two puppy bingo sheets. So, for example, maybe I want to do this one. So I would set this one down and I would have markers or something to mark my spots with. Or maybe I want to do this one, so I would grab this one. And the fun thing about this video being recorded is that you can come back and rewatch it with the other one and see which one gets a bingo faster. Alright, are you ready? If you are going to play bingo with us, you're going to need the PDF that is in the comments. So, and then pick one of the two bingo sheets. All right. I have a bowl of pictures and I am going to pull them and show them to you. And if you have the picture that's on the bingo card, or if that picture is on your bingo card, then you will mark it off. And remember, the picture that's in the middle of Corbin is okay is a free space so you're going to want to mark that one off right away so we'll just pull that one right away so grab grab that one as your free space i'm going to set these down here all right are you ready I'm going to start pulling some dogs. All right. Our first one is a pit bull. So if you have this picture on your bingo card, please mark it off in some way. You can put coins or you can use a marker. So mark it off in some way. All right. Are you ready for the next one? Ready? All right, let's see. If you have this adorable golden retriever on your card, please mark it off. All right, ready? Pull another one. Let's see. I think this is a Pomeranian. We have this adorable little Pomeranian, I believe. Picture. Please mark that one off. All right. Mixing it up. Let's see what picture are we gonna get now all right got this one i am not sure what kind of dog this is i think it might be an afghan but i am not 100 percent sure all right Corbin's coming to help me pick the bingos. If you have this Rottweiler, you want to see it? You see the doggo? 
You see the doggo? We have the Rottweiler. Please mark it off. And if you want, you can come back several times this video and play it different ways. So you can do bingo like this. You can do four corners. You can try and black do a blackout. It is really up to you. All right. Got this one. I'm not sure what kind of dog it is, but it is very cute. Right, if you had that one, please, please mark it off. All right. Are you ready? Grab our next one. This one, I think it might be a baby Shiba Inu. Or a baby husky. It looks, it looks like it could be either. But this little puppy, if you have the little puppy, mark him off. All right. All right. Next, we have this this little guy. I think this might be a Mastiff, but I am not sure. Do not quote me on that one. All right. All right. Let us pick our next one. Are you bored or something over here, Corbin? He's like looking at me. Okay. Next we have this doggo. Not sure what what breed it is, but it is adorable. So if you have that one, you can mark that one off. And remember, if you get a bingo, please put it in the comments. All right, next we have this big guy. I think this might be the kind a Great Dane. All right. All right, let's pick another one. Ooh, we got a little Jack Russell Terrier. That was our next one. So if you have the Jack Russell Terrier, please mark it off. All right. Next we have, oh, it's a repeat. So I'll set that one down. It was the Rottweiler. So if you haven't marked off your Rottweiler, please do mark it off. All right. Next we have this lab. A very cute chocolate lab, it looks like. So if you have a cho the chocolate lab, please mark it off. And if you get a bingo, you can always put it in the comments and then you can clear your card and keep going. See if you can get four corners or the diagonal or a different bingo. So now we have a little bull terrier, it looks like. what I think it is. I'm not 100% sure though. What do you think it is, Corbin? Alright. Arf? You arfin? Come on. Come in. You look like you need a bath on your feet. Okay. So next we have a little French bulldog. A very cute little French bulldog. So if you have a little French bulldog, Please do mark it off. All right, let's see. What do we got? Ooh, 
we have this one. I think it's some sort of pointer. Oh. Arf? Oh. You want to see it? What are you arfing about? Your sniff? You seeing it? Okay, so if you have this one, mark it off. Oh, it's a sweetheart. The sweetheart, hello. Give you a pet. Okay. Our next one is this one. I think it's another pit bull. A very cute pit bull. Alright, I'm gonna mix them up. Has anyone gotten a bingo yet? Okay. And if you want to play this game at home, you can print off the bingo sheet and cut out all the pictures on both pages and play it like I am. Right next, we have a little Yorkie. Okay, let's see what else we have. Just gonna keep pulling pictures for a bit. All right, next we have a big Shiba Inu. What a cute little Shiba. All right. Our next one is... Let's see. It's... A bulldog. So if you have the bulldog, mark it off. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, I just threw one out. A little dash hound. If you have the dash hound, mark it off. Let's see what else do we have in here? Not sure what kind of dog it is, but it is beautiful. So if you have that one, mark it off. Let's see, what else do we have? A little husky. If you have the husky, mark it off. All right, let's see. What do we got? This, this one's a repeat. So if you haven't marked that one off, mark that one off. Let's see. What else do we have in here? A greyhound. I think that's a greyhound. If you have the greyhound, mark it off. Let's see. What else do we have in here? My sister's favorite dog, a Newfoundland. Can barely see its eyes, it's so fluffy. All right, let's see. Next, we have this little guy. Very cute. If you have that one, mark it off. We're almost out of, we'll do a couple more and then we might restart. Okay, let's see. Next we have this one. It's a, it might be a Jack Russell Terrier. Alright, let's see. 
Next, we have this adorable little beagle. So we have the beagle, mark it off. Let's see, what else do we have? We have this shepherd. Very cute, very cute. It looks like Lassie. Hi, buddy. Almost done, and then we play. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do one more, and then we will restart, and I'll do a few more. Next, we have this one. I think it's a bull terrier or a mini bully. One of the two. I'm not exactly sure. All right. One more. A German Shepherd. All right. So that was all for this round. So let's restart and maybe do another round quick. All right. I'm going to put all of my cards back into my bowl here. All right, let's play again. So we'll just play. I'll just keep pulling cards until we run out of time. All right. All right, we're going to start with this one. Next, we have this one. Next, we have a little Shiba Inu. Next, we have a little dash hound. After that, we have a lab. I'm going to do it pretty rapid fire right now. Okay, rapid fire round. Okay. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Springer Spaniel, this one, a husky, this one, little golden retriever, little greyhound, little Pomeranian, I believe. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, a little German Shepherd, a Beagle, oh, a Corgi, that's the free spot. This one, a little Pug, a 
Little dog. Yorkshire Terrier or Yorkie. This one. This one. The Newfie, Newfoundland. Okay, and last one. Pitbull. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this trivia and bingo. I had so much fun making it and playing it with you guys. Let's see if we can get Corbin to come up, come over here and say goodbye. Come here. He's chilling at the back of my bed. Come here. Come here. Come here, Corbin. I'm not going to force him, but I'm going to try and get him to come say hi. Come here. Come say hi quick and then we can go play. Okay, come here. All right. Ow. Ow. All right, thanks. Corbin says thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed playing bingo, and I hope that you can... Come back to it and rewatch it later and get some different bingos and try right. both cards. Alright, thanks for watching guys and I will see you later.